here the given problem is consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory daily wages in rupees they are given as group data and number of workers are given in the form of frequencies they have asked us to find the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method going to the solution they have asked us to find the mean we know the formula for mean that sigma fx by sigma f and here if we observe the class intervals between the wages were so large so that it will be so difficult for the calculation so we shall adapt the step deviation method for this procedure What is meant by step deviation method? In step deviation method, we assume a mean. That is, A is the assumed mean. And the similar difference between the upper limit and the lower limit. That is, in this we find the difference is 20. In each of the case. Hence, it is known as H. H is the class size. And we get the formula that Ui is equal to xi minus a by h whereas deviation di is xi minus a through this we find the values to be smaller for the calculation hence we go on to the tabular form here we shall fill it given here number of daily wages in the form of rupees and here the frequencies that is number of workers fi here the limits are 100 to 120 120 to 140 140 to 160 160 to 180 and 180 to 200 and for these the number of workers were 12 14 8 6 and 10 as they have given the limits for group data we have to find class mark that is xi and xi can be denoted by the formula class mark is equal to half of the sum of lower limit and upper limit upper limit plus lower limit by 2 here we go hence for 100 to 120 we get 110 and similarly for the remaining we get 130 150 170 and 190 Here the total sum we get is sigma fi is equal to 50 and here we find the deviation di is equal to xi minus a here 150 is considered as assumed mean hence we get minus 40 that is 150 minus 110 here 
minus twenty zero twenty and forty. We shall find u i is equal to h i minus a by h. As we know that a is equal to one fifty and h is equal to twenty, we can find u i. Here we get minus two minus one zero one two. And finally, we here we get the product of f i and u i as minus two into twelve. That is minus twenty four. Minus fourteen, zero, six, and twenty. The sum of all the products were minus twelve. Now, as we know, u i is equal to x i minus a by h. We shall find the relation between x i and u i. x bar is the mean and u bar can be defined as sigma of fi ui by sigma of fi hence we know that ui is equal to xi minus a by h u bar is equal to sigma of fi In the place of u i, we substitute x i minus a by h by sigma of f i. This implies u bar is equal to one by h sigma f i x i minus sigma f i a by Sigma f i. Here we shall write it again. U bar is equal to one by h sigma f i x i by sigma f i minus a into sigma f i. By sigma f i, we know that sigma f i x i by sigma f i is x bar. Hence, we can write it as u bar is equal to one by h into x bar minus a, as sigma f i by sigma f i cancels. Here we get the relation that h into u bar is equal to x bar minus a. x bar is equal to a plus h into u bar hence we got the relation between x bar and u bar hence if we move on to the solution we have to find the mean that a is 150 plus h we know 20 and u bar is minus 12 by 50 Here we get one fifty minus four point eight, that is one forty five point two five. Mean is equal to one forty five point two five. The mean daily wages of the workers of the factory is rupees one forty five point two zero.